Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a bit different. I can see we're on Google Chrome here. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be loading up Blender. Blender's like a I'm sure you all know, but it's a 3D modeling software. And we're gonna be making a low poly car today because it'll be in parts probably, but because I haven't got a video up, I kinda need to get one up. So we're just going to start with finding a suitable image, loading up Blender, and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm back. So basically I just went into, I went onto this website and I just booted up this because you have to pay like 20 euros to get the full image, but this will do. So if we save that image, make sure you save it into somewhere that you know. So I'm going to save it into here. Alright. Now on Blender make sure you've got this loaded up so I'm gonna go through a couple of shortcuts so you're gonna want to click 7 on the numpad which will bring you into top orthographic view which you'll need 3 takes you into right orthographic view which is just basically the side orthographic view and 1 will take you into front and then control 1 is back control 3 is left and control 7 is bottom but for now you're gonna want to click 7 on your numpad, click tab to go into edit mode, <coughs> control R to bring up the loop cut, uh, like shortcut thing, which brings in this, which is just like editable, another like editable verte vertice or vertex, whatever you want to call it. Go back up here, just click that down, and if don't worry if you don't get it in the middle, you can just if it's slid off, just click escape and it'll take you back to the center and then click enter and that is your bit in the middle which we're going to need then just select these vertices by clicking shift like holding down shift and clicking then click delete delete the vertices so you've got half a cube left but yeah sure now I'm going to object mode going to the little spanner icon here the modifier tab and then click mirror and then there you go that is your cube mirrored so whatever you do to one side it'll do to the other side now I'm going to 7 then while still being in object mode click shift A to add a new item into your scene click background <coughs> then find where you saved your image your blueprint so I saved it in here now this will probably require this will probably require some little minor adjustments but you're going to want to move the image and because we're in top of the graphic you're going to want to move it to the top of the where the car starts and now what, what I like to do is I like to edit the cube before I actually do it if you know what I mean so let's see we're going to want to move this image, we're going to want to rotate it 90 degrees this way, which I don't know what that is, if just go down here, rotate 90, each of those just like a little drop down box here when you want to rotate something, then just get it to there, you can also click wireframe and it'll bring up a wireframe in the cube, but I ain't one for using that, then go onto your cube here, Grab this face seven. Minimize the cube. You can move the cube across since you've only got one image, and also you want clipping on. By the way, grab this face. Bring that to here. Might need to be a little bit wider. Yeah, enable clipping just down here. That's how you do it tab into object mode <laughs> click 7 get your image that was pretty much perfect a little bit of overhang in here but it's okay if you want to really get this is the only thing I don't like about using blueprints is you kind of feel like you have to get it perfect but because it's going to be low poly you really don't have to get it is it is that it is What's happened there then? 
Oh, it's because I did that, yeah. Okay. It's fine though. Try and get the center of the cuboid or whatever in the center of the image as well. It's like this side, this face, sorry. Okay, that's not good. There we go. Just use these arrows to move it. And that is looking, just maybe bring this back face in a little bit. Just about there. Because you still want the proportions to kind of be right. That's about right. Now go into object mode by clicking tab, click three on your numpad, shift A, background, and aim at it. And because this is right side orthographic, you wanna go bang. And then should be correct, yep. Tab, uh, no, click on your cube. Tab into edit mode, click here, click three, and just bring this down to here. Ignoring the window because that's gonna be extruded up from the body. Now we need to do the front view, so click it while you're in object mode, click one, and then Now the way I like to do it is I like to model the side profile first. So we're gonna select the cube wherever it is. It's, why didn't I just look at the car? Edit mode, one. That's not the right view, three. If you do enjoy this stuff and I also do virtual tuning, just a little plug on the channel, make sure to subscribe please. That would be greatly appreciated. Alrighty, with that out of the way, now you see that was control R to get a loop cut in and just clicking on it and dragging with the mouse, bring it into about where the bonnet curves down, now you're on edge select which is 2 on the row of numbers above like your quote keyboard and all that good stuff, bring it to a about here, okay we're going to need a couple more loop cuts in here, so let's just do that. Grab this face, three, here, grab this face, three, here, grab this, it's not a face, sorry, it's an edge, grab this edge, here, one more loop cut in there, just to get that front curvy bit, like that. See, this is a thing, you just want to get it perfect when it, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> right. So that's okay. Back into three. Here. Three. Up to about there. Okay. So now you can see we've got this like little indent bit here, which goes all the way to the back since we can see this background. So to create that, you want to get a nice loop cut, do that, loop cut, and then do that. Grab, well not grab, but select these faces here. And also, this face and this face. Probably see what we're gonna do here. Click delete, delete faces. Let's see, we can also delete these faces. This face, sorry, delete face and now 
we should be able to do this. Grab these face, uh, these edges, duplicate them, click G to m See there's your duplicate. Clipping on. I don't know why it turned itself off. And then if we select these here and this, it should. It should have created a face, but it it did, but not how we want it. Edit to create a face between here. Yeah, this is how you gotta do it. Face between there, and then a face between there. <laughs> there we go. That took way longer than it should. I will definitely fast forward that bit. Okay, so now we're back. Select this edge, click three. Bring it up. Select this edge, click three. Bring it up. Side profile is looking decent. Not exactly Miata-ish yet because we need to get the, um, I'm just bring this up level with the wheel arches. So now for this back bit, you're gonna wanna create a loop cut to separate it just where the wheel arch starts. Click this edge and just bring it up in to get that little bit whatever it's called <laughs> this edge in i get it i'm not a very good teacher but bear with me then you're gonna want to click three on the key pad not the numpad like the bit above your quality keyboard not do that because that didn't work did it Edge select, maybe just bring this bit up a little bit. I just ignore that gray spot here. Okay. Oh, you could actually get this top window face bit and not bring it down. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Loop cut in here. Grab this edge, bumper time. Then you wanna, then you wanna get another loop cut. Oh, that's a lot of loop cuts. I kind of not a big fan of that. So grab this bit, bring it in. Yeah, that's kind of working how I want it to be. Yeah, that's creating a back bumper style thing. Edge select, this is not gonna work, is it? No, it's gonna bring the whole thing in. Lower it down, bring it in, up. Loop cut to get this bit, come on. And then maybe grab this edge, down. Loop cut in here, grab the top down yeah that's working so that's kind of the side profile of the miata and not front or rear because so obviously it's going to be way more rounded than that okay so now you need to create the window which can be done pretty easily grab your face get here Make sure it's also working on the front bit. This all looks very confusing, but it's actually pretty easy. We'll, we'll curve it in now to give it some dimension. It's already got dimension, but you know what I mean. So click control and it'll pick the fastest loop to the thing. Then just don't grab these top bits because you don't want to be grabbing them in like that kind of that kind of works yeah I 
Let's see from the back. Yeah, it's a curvy car, so that works. That front's looking a little bit strange. Quick one. Refinements. Oh. God. One. Bring this bottom in. Hopefully that looks okay. There's a low poly kind of. Might want to just round this off. By the way, I'm just learning Blender. So if you came here for a professional tutorial, then probably in the wrong spot. You want to bring that just to about there, because that's where that front part of the car starts. I'm going to find out what edge bit this is. Okay, it's the front. of it oh no I think what's that look like I bet it looks awful doesn't it doesn't look the best you could probably curve that in still it's looking slightly like a meow not the most but it's not not the what like I would not be able to tell that that's me out right now but trust me when you get the body parts going on we'll get the window on now just to see because I'm pretty sure it's gonna look fine three to bring it to the side view there's your angle that should be the right thickness yeah so you got your roadster looking thing, whatever it's called. If you really want, you can grab this edge here, quick three. Just bring that in a little bit and bring this edge back because the car has like a steep like a roof kind of thing obviously it's got a roof jeez click one grab this top point one and bring it in point there you go and that should also be correct for the back as well yeah and now, this is where working with images really doesn't help because you try and get everything exactly how the car should be when really you don't need to. Just so long as in the end it's recognizable as an MX-5. That's really the main goal. See how this is still a little bit wonky you can just grab this edge bring it out and it looks a little bit funky so <laughs> grab your vertice and just bring that out like that and that's looking better this is definitely going to be in part because it's already at like 24 minutes so that's your basic outline for your Miata done nothing really else i want to add in this video just want to get it out since i haven't uploaded in a while there are some other sort of shortcuts such as control b for when you've got an edge selected which will bevel it just like doing that which might be useful for this car but we'll find out so yeah thanks for watching um subscribe if you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and do all that good stuff and join me next time to see um, the interior done. Which is, yeah, that's what I'm going to, no, lights. Because we still need the mirror modifier for the lights and the wheels and all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video.